Hi, my name is Narumi Jaman and Sayumi Kanata. Today, we are going to make a presentation about the solution of unfair pension problem. This is the brief outline of our presentation. First, we would like to talk about problem and explain why the problem is important in Japan. Next, we are going to propose a solution. And finally, we would like to conclude this presentation. Let's move on to the first topic. First of all, let me ask you one question. What do you think this number is? This is the gender gap index reported in 2012. Of 135 countries, Japan ranked lower place, which shows in Japan differences between men and women are bigger than other countries. Actually, the effort for utilizing female workforce has still been delayed in comparison with other countries. The theme of utilizing female workforce or women's social progress has been featured in Japan. In fact, Japanese government set three arrows as a policy. One of them is the growth strategy including the utilizing female workforce in March 19th, Shinzo Abe, the Japanese Prime Minister, declared in the meeting that the supposed deduction should be reduced in order to promote utilizing the manpower of women. If you look at this graph, you can understand the system of the supposed deduction. At present, a person who supposes income is under 1,030,000 yen could be deducted 380,000 yen from his salary. A vertical line shows the amount of deduction from husband's income. A horizontal line shows the amount of income of wife. So, Japanese housemakers tend to work less not to surpass this income line. It is called 1,030,000 per year. As same in the meeting, the problem in social insurance was pointed out to correct. It is a problem caused by privileged ma majors involved in current pension system. And that is the problem we would like to focus on this presentation. It also prevents women with working outside, similarly to the supposed deduction. Let me detail to the pension problem. Please look at this chart. This shows the Japanese pension system. The insured is divided into three groups. First group is composed with self-employed people and students. Second group is composed with employed people, for example, office workers and public employees. Third group is composed with supposers of second group, whose income is under 1,300,000 yen. In short, they are housemakers. About 99% of them are women. In Japan, traditionally, men work outside and women are engaged in domestic chores. So, Japanese government set up this group. Under the system, who needs to pay pension? The first group, self-employed people. The second group, employed people. But they are those 
who don't need to pay pension. That's third group. Most of them, the only things they have to do are housework and nursing if they have children, because her husband's income is enough to live. On the other hand, single mothers don't belong to third group. They belong to the first group or the second group. So they must pay pension. Imagine you were a single mother. You worked very hard in the day. And after the walk, you have to take care of your small child. And also have to do housework. It's very hard for you, but you have to pay pension. Don't you think it's very unfair? Today, women are being hired for many jobs that were previously open only to men. Women became working as much as men. In accordance with women's social progress, the family war changed. However, the pension system is as usual. So, we should change the system in order to match current society. Therefore. Current pension system causes two troubles. It causes inequality among three groups. It has an effect on making decision of women to walk outside. Those who belong to third group tend to walk less, not to surpass one million three hundred thousand yen. Up to here, we have spoken about problem. Let's move on to solution. We suggest following reform plans to improve the current pension system in Japan. First of all, the Japanese government should abolish the reduction of the third group to achieve equality. Then. They should establish the pension deduction for childcare and for looking after elderly people. This deduction is for those who devote themselves to their family, for example, their child or parents. Government makes sure to set up some restrictions concerning about income and term. First, income. Only people whose income is under average can apply the deduction. The purpose of this restriction is to limit the beneficiary. Second, term. While their children are primary school students, one of the parents can apply the deduction. For same, the deduction for looking after the elderly should be applied for a fixed period of time. By carrying out these reform plans, the equality among three groups will be achieved, and. We will also be able to consider those who devote oneself to keep one's family. Let me summarize points of, points of our presentation. We have spoken about unfair pension system and suggested solution. The Japanese government should abolish the deduction of the third group to achieve equality. Then. They should establish the pension deduction for child care and for looking after elderly people. The deduction is intended for both women and men, which could give an opportunity to change the family role. It will stimulate the social progress of women. It is important for government to appreciate one's devotion to one's family in the form of deduction. The Japanese pension system has been continued since 1985, and the problem still has not been solved for about 30 years. Although it could lead to infringement upon one's basic rights, 
we should keep putting our effort to solve this problem. That's all. Thank you for paying attention. Thank you.